Welcome to another video of basics of Android ROM development. In this one, we'll be talking about the difference between porting a ROM and building a ROM from source. So let's get started. Okay, so why I'm doing this video? Well, I've got a lot of requests and I see a lot of confusion in people comparing ported ROMs and ROMs built from source. So let's clear out the doubts. So porting, uh, when do we actually port a ROM? Well, we do this when we don't have the source code for the kernel. So yes, porting a ROM requires a base ROM from which we can copy the required operating system files. Now keep that in mind that a ported ROM can have a lot of bugs in it. You will find a lot of guides that will help you through the porting process. I will definitely link some down in the description below. Okay, so now let's move on to the building the ROM from source. Now in this one, we actually take the ROM source, the kernel source, the device tree, the vendor tree, you know it all. Uh, if you don't know that, just check out my last video. In that one, I did a tutorial. It was like a theory class. And these ROMs that are made from source are very stable and we can debug them and make them even more stable. And that'll be up for today. So if you have any questions, any doubts, just leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.